Hey Rolettes and Rollers, it's me your girl Anita and I'm back with another video. And in this video we're going to be decorating my bar cart. Now this is one of the final items that I needed to complete my dining room which many of you have been waiting to see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an overview of the items that we're going to be using. You are going to see some pumpkins because it is still fall and I don't start my um, Christmas decorating until the day after Thanksgiving. I am hosting Thanksgiving this year so I'm excited about that. And um, yeah, so here's an overview of everything that we're going to be using and then I'm going to go over each item in detail. Now although we do have a fully stocked bar, fully functioning stocked bar downstairs in my husband's man cave, I wanted to make it easier for our guests so that they weren't running between the upstairs and the downstairs. I did purchase some Moscato as well as some um, French vanilla Ciroc and some um, Grand Marnier. Some tequila, some coconut rum, some bourbon, and a little miniature sample bottle of Grand Marnier. My husband wanted to try this flavor. And then I have my mixer cup here. I also have some Pellegrino from my family members and friends who think they're too good to drink from the tap. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I also have a couple of, mom, a few martini glasses, a pumpkin that I got from Target a long time ago. Um, and I also have some cocktail mixing books. All of these books I purchased from Amazon, The Art of Mixology, The Art of the Bar Cart Styling and Recipes. The Home Bartender. And the Bar Cart Bible. Not only are these books helpful for making drinks, they're also like nice decor accessories for your bar cart. Now I, all, I ordered this towel here, this had a Moscow Mule Cup um, towel from um, Etsy and I think it's so cute. The lady custom makes it and I just thought that was absolutely adorable. So I was like, yes, I need to get that for my bar cart. I have these cocktail glasses that I got from Ikea, this vase that I got from Target like over a year ago. I've had it for a while. Another pumpkin. And then some florals that I got from Target that, I've, that I ha have had them for a while. I just repurposed them. I also have this wood crate that I got from um, Michael's, but I repurposed that from my pantry when I redid my pantry over. And then I have this tray that I purchased from um, Pure One. It's from Magnolia Home that I'm also going to be using. So here's one last look at everything again that we're going to be using. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first item I'm going to start with is this vase that, I, as I mentioned, I purchased from Target. And it's from the Heart and Hand collection. I've had it for over a year, so we're just going to reuse that. I'm going to clean it off with my Sprayway because you guys know that I love this product. And it's great for cleaning glass and glass items. Next, I'm going to add these floral stems that are also, I think, from Target. I can't remember where I got them from. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and add these stems. I've already cut the ends off because I don't like bending them in the vases. I just like to cut them to size them as I need them to be. So this is what that's looking like so far. Now it's time to add some adult beverages. So I'm going to start with my Ciroc. Next, I'm going to add the Moscato. I'm working from the tallest to the shortest. Now I'm going to add my uh, drink mixer, shaker, or whatever it's called. Y'all know what it is. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and add my rum. And my bourbon. We're going to have folks tore up. <laughs> and the Grand Marnier. And next, the tequila. And then this little miniature bottle of Grand Marnier. Now, moving on to the other side, I'm going to add my martini glasses.
and my cocktail glasses. And lastly, I'm going to add my towel, my little cocktail towel. It's so cute. I just really like it. It's very unique. Um, and the little pumpkin. <laughs> and this is what the top shelf is looking like. Now it's time to move on to the bottom. So next, I'm gonna add my Magnolia Home Galvanized Tray, which I, as I mentioned before, I purchased from Pier One. I'm just gonna place that right there. And then next, I'm going to add this uh, wood uh, crate, which I've had for a long, long time as well, which is from Michaels. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to add some different textures, the wood and then the galvanized metal, and then I wanted to add the crate for some height. And then right here, I'm just adding my Pellegrino bottles, um, because this crate is a great uh, place to use for extra storage. And then I have to add some greenery because of course it wouldn't be the same if I didn't add some greenery. And plus I still wanted to have sort of a farmhousey feel to it. So what I'm doing here is I'm just bending the stems. Although I don't bend the stems without I put in glass bases because you can't see the because you can see the bottoms in those. I'm just bending the stem here. And then I'm just gonna get my placement right within the crate. So see how the greenery um, takes your eye away from the white wall behind, so I like that. And then I also have some extra space left on the sides of the crate, so if I wanted to add some bottles of ginger ale or something, I'd have room for that. Now I'm going to add my books, and I'm starting with the Art of Mixology. The Art of the Bar Cart, Styling and Recipes. The Home Bartender. And last but not least, the Bar Cart Bible. Again, these books were all purchased from Amazon and they make a great bar cart accessory. And the final item I'm going to add is my pumpkin. Yes, I know it's almost Christmas, but I'm not decorating for Christmas just yet, not just yet, in a couple weeks. <laughs> and here's another look at the bottom shelf and I think it turned out really nice. Here's one last look at how it all came together. And you guys know what I always say. Some of you are going to like it. Some of you will not. But that's okay because I absolutely love it. I also want to let you know that my next video will be my dining room reveal and tour. And if you're new to the channel, I just want to say, hey, y'all. Hey, I'm Anita. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to the family. To all my returning subscribers, you guys know how I feel about y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. Y'all know y'all mean the world to me. And if you happen to be stopping by and you like what you see, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below low and become part of the family also don't forget to hit your notification bell so that you don't miss any videos that i upload but that's going to do it for this video guys i hope that you enjoyed it and as always i just want to say thank you so much for watching thanks for rolling with your girl i love y'all and i will see you in my next video bye